Hey everybody, how's it going? Salty Octopus here. Today I've got a short and random video for you. I found these Quake 1 D makes and I thought I'd play through them and because they're kind of cool, I wanted to show you guys. As you can see right now, I'm playing the very first level of Quake 1, the Slipgate Complex remade in this D make style. So what is a D make? Well, it's where a game is made to look older and usually it's made with older technology as well. In the case of this project, Q1K3, it was made for a game jam competition and it was created in JavaScript. This entire game only takes up 13 kilobytes, so that's really crazy. And there's an entire write-up on how the author did it on his website, which I will include in the video description. And you can play this Quake D-Make if you're interested as well. I will also include the link to play it in the video description. It can run right through your browser. So yeah, I don't really have a lot more to add at this point, so just sit back, relax, and check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
The next demake here is based off of the first one, it seems to be the exact same code. The main difference being that this one features procedurally generated levels rather than levels that were designed to look like Quake 1. Because of this, it kind of takes away the charm of it being a demake. If we didn't see the first example, this would be no more than just a browser based Java game, and to be honest with you, not a very good one. Because this game is procedurally generated, the essence of Quake is not there. But also nor is any balance, as that goes completely out the window making this experience far too difficult. Ridiculously difficult. Spoiler alert, I never beat any of the levels. I had to start over multiple times because I was either running out of ammo or I was just getting myrtleized by the enemies way too quickly. So suffice it to say, I did not enjoy my time playing Quake 1 Infinity nearly as much as the original demake. But that said, check it out, tell me what you guys think. I've included links to play this one in the video description as well.
Alright everybody, we're coming up on the end of the video here. I hope you thought that was kind of neat. And if you happen to watch this video all the way through, I really appreciate you for that. Don't forget, links to play these D-makes are in the video description. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Salty Octopus, and I'll see you next time. Happy fragging.